here we go. Kevlar Productions. All right, so I have my Acura 3.2 TL. It's a 2000, and uh, what I want to do is clean the manifold because I'm having a lot of misfires. And um, I was looking through YouTube. I found a couple of people who have done this, and um, they, they, they were pretty helpful. So I decided to do one as well because a lot of the camera uh, was shaky or, you know, it just had a few problems. You know, but around about you got the idea of what they were trying to do. But I want to kind of zoom in and get everything in detail. So these had uh, bolts on it, which what I like to do with my bolts is I like to put a number on them. Like this one six, and what I do is I go from, you know, one, two, three, four, five. You could do it however you want, but that's just the way that I did it. So, just to let you know, and it's a 10 millimeter uh, socket that you'll need. And um, once you get this thing off, you'll see what it uncovers. If I could get it off here. Aha. And look at that. I'm going to go and do a little close up for this thing. Because I got a pretty neat camera for it. My son's camera, I bought him. Alright. So there you go. Look at those those walls full of carbon you know and gunk that's what you want to clean out so you kinda of get those misfires out the way and from what I see a lot of people were saying that the Hondas and Acuras some some Acuras the gasket was put on backwards but in this case I see that the gasket was right but this might have been done previously but you could see all the the buildup the oil look at that now we'll take off this gasket and see if we could salvage it instead of buying one see how it looks We'll get that all cleaned up. And I'll just take you around this so you can see in detail what you're really messing with. As far as the other videos, they were, they were pretty cool. I mean, they were very helpful. That's what got me to do this. And uh, at the end of my video, I'll give them credit for it. Um, but uh, I just wanted to show you up close. All right, so let's go and put that aside. get that out the way and then we'll start looking in here and we'll see these ports whoops sorry there we go and if you look at those ports that's what you want to clean up all that gunk in there that gunk see all that gunk you want to take all that out you want to clean it real good look at that it's all carbon buildup you lose power you lose a lot of uh, gas too you know as far as getting everything clean you'll have better performance now you could also take these out which I'll do in another video I just wanted to do it step by step and take these these also have a gasket on the side too as well and you'll probably get a lot of gunk to remove from in there but these these ports have to do with those misfires if you change the spark plugs um, and you still get your misfires and your check engine stays on and there's a total of uh, six ports so we got one two three four five and six so there you have it 
and uh, in a little bit I'm going to hand the camera off to my handy dandy partner in crime, Logan, my son, and he will record me cleaning everything and getting everything back in order. All right, see you in a bit. All right, so we're back again with Logan, uh, my camera guy, my buddy, it's my son. All right, this is what we're going to use. We're going to use uh, jet spray, carbon choke. A lot of people use um, brake, brake cleaner. I don't like using that because obviously it's brakes, brake cleaner, carb, you're removing carbon. So I like using the right product for the right job because it is going to do a better job. Um, so this is what we're going to do. What we're going to do is start spraying this and you'll see it start coming up already. See all that gunk in there that's starting to come up. Spray your port, get all that stuff out of there, and it'll start working. Now what amazes me is that a couple of months ago I did a seafoam clean. But seafoam does a good job, but it doesn't take away a lot of the carbon buildup. It's not as strong as it should be. And that's probably due to, you know, gaskets, rubber parts, and things like that. But you just want to get in there and do that. And then I'll come back. And what I'll do is I'll start wiping everything and getting in here. See all that? Look at that. I'm going to start getting in here and cleaning this. Now, eventually, I'm going to go grab a wire brush and uh, start getting this cleaned up. But you can see already a little bit of a difference. And that's what you wanna do with that. And once you get all this cleaned up and all the gunk um, off of it, then I'm gonna take you over and we're gonna start doing the, uh, the cap that came off and the actual gasket. Cut. All right. So we're back here, and Logan's gonna zoom in closer over here. And come on top over here, Logan, so you can show them this hole. Now what I did was I took a little mini screwdriver, flathead, and you could see in the EGR port, uh, the port, excuse me, all the carbon buildup. And that's what you want to take out. You want to get all that stuff out of there. Look at that. Look how nasty that stuff is. I mean, it's carbon. It's buildup. You know, that's that's what's going to happen. But this is a part of maintenance that people don't do or they don't know how to do. So that's why I'm putting it on YouTube. And I learned a lot from YouTube. So, you know, if I can do it, and I'm not a mechanic, I'm just a home mechanic I call it just work on your own cars if you don't have the money to get to a mechanic or you don't want them to mess up your vehicles just go to YouTube this is what you want to do just make sure all of it's out just get in there and I just did these here let me get this one a little bit more and you just scratch the interior of the walls go in a circular motion Nice and easy, nothing crazy, you know? Just just like if you were cleaning any part of your house or any, anything in your house. And what you wanna do is get some of that spray and start spraying this up. Also in here, I took a lot of this stuff out too. Can you see in here, Logan? Mm-hmm. Inside, real close up. And you just start scratching the interior of the walls and the body. And then you take this, let's see what comes out, look at that, that's what you want to get out of there. So just want to show you a little bit of close up of how to clean it and get it all out. You can use any kind of tools you want, just scrape lightly, don't gouge into it, it'll come off once you hit with that spray, hit it real good with that spray and just go in there and keep on use a toothbrush use anything you can you also want to get this clean right here real nice because this is where the gasket sits so you want to make sure that's nice and 
clean and dry. See that? That's the way you want it to look, like that. All right? So I'll come back with the other parts, as I said, and we'll get this puppy up and running. All right, I really had to uh, come back and show you the main port. I totally forgot about it when I started cleaning this out. I want to show you something very, very interesting. Look at that main port, how clogged it is. See that? I could stick my screwdriver in there and there's no type of air coming through. None. That is all full of gunk. This is what you want to get out. I need some light in there, Logan. This is what you want to get out. This is the root of all problems. And you got to open that port back up. And it's basically like one of these ports over here, but it's bigger. It's like about, I want to say, let's see, sorry about that, guys. Um, I say it's about maybe, uh, maybe about five eighths of an inch or so. If the, I, I don't know, there's so much gunk here. You see, now you can actually see the hole forming as I start doing this this is your main problem look at that that thing is that shouldn't be that way so that's what you want to do get that light in there there you go that's what you want to do so you hit that up and I will show you it after it's clean so you can really see what the port was supposed to look like it was basically like this and you saw that the screwdriver got stuck so that's the main port that's what gives you that that uh, airflow through through the uh, throttle body. That's why the throttle body. A lot of people clean the throttle body, but if if that doesn't work, this is one of your next steps in getting the misfires, the um, stalling. Um, I did this on my Acura CL, and it was a little bit different. But if you look at my other videos. Um, I took apart everything in there so but that's the main port that one's actually bigger than the Acura CL's port because obviously because my Acura CL the 99 that I had was a 3.0 this one's a 3.2 and it's a 16 valve so obviously it's gonna be a little bit bigger than what the Acura CL had so that port is what you want to really focus on and get everything out of there plus everything else but I just had a make that your top priority if you want to clean it good get all these ports here and then that main port once you get all this clean get the gasket clean get the top cleaned and you'll be set and I and I'm hoping that everybody uh, does this correctly where they get their uh, misfires out so I'll be back Alright, so this is what you want to do with the gasket. And you can see right away, it'll start coming out. All the carbon build up. Just let that sit for a bit. And be prepared because you're going to get messy. And look at, look at this old uh, shirt that I had. Look at that. All carbon build up and I'm gonna take you back over there so I could show you that big port so I'm just gonna spray this a little bit more let it soak in and what I'm gonna do is start taking a wire brush and get in there Could already see how all that stuff is coming out. You take your time with it, let it soak in there, let it all come out. It's very important to do if you want that engine performance like you did have when you not when you first bought it, but you know, at least it'll be 
hundred times better than what you're driving right now. And your car will and your engine will. Really know. And this, just do it lightly. Don't do it too rough. That wire brush could, you know, mess up the actual gasket. So just go lightly. I'm just gonna go over the hard parts because the rest of it you could get with the towel. See that one? That one comes out easy. Towel or, in my case, shirt. See that? Now this gasket still pretty good but I'd say the next time I go and do this I want to replace it because you can start seeing the wear right there. very easy to get to this so I can replace the gasket once I clean it if I have to. Uh, it's still giving me some issues but I think this will be sufficient. So I'm just going to continue cleaning on these and uh, we'll get back to you as soon as I'm done. Alright I want you to see the process as I'm going through it so you can see what I'm doing. Like I said I was going to show you in detail. And you can see all the gunk that's coming out of here, all that carbon buildup. You want to make sure you get all this, especially this, because this is where the ports go. And you blow that air uh, through the manifold. This right here, look at that. Blah. I'm gonna get all that out of there. And I got a, uh, just a tiny screwdriver. This works best with it, you know? And you just dump it out. And don't worry about all this, all this you can clean out. I'm actually gonna spray paint this uh, a nice color. With a, with a good uh, spray paint that's for high heat. So, just like you do your calipers. All right, so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna do all these and then uh, clean it up real good again and pop everything back together. All right, so you clean it as best as you can. I took about maybe about 40 minutes to an hour and uh, as you can see, I did a pretty good job. Pretty good job. So, let me show you the, uh, that's the gasket. And then we're gonna go in here. Logan's gonna pass me the camera here. And what we're gonna do is check inside here. You wanna get me that light, Logan? Mm -hmm. And as you can see, you cleaned it up as best as you can. See that? See that? And then the main port. Remember all that stuff? Now, I didn't get a hundred, hundred percent of everything, but the main thing was that bad boy right there. And you could see that. Now you could actually see a hole. Remember when I stuck my screwdriver in there? It was all. You're gonna get so much better performance by doing this. And like I said, it's not 100% perfect, but, you know, that's the major thing in these ports right here. Those ports. So, there you have it. As I'm going to start putting everything back together. And just be very careful with this. They go a certain way. Do not put them on backwards because what happens when you put them on backwards is... Or actually upside down whichever one you want to say it covers the EGR port 
See that? You think you got it on right? Actually, it's supposed to go like this. But you get the hint. Just make sure your holes line up. All right, and I'll show you some before and after still pictures so you could see. And what I'm going to end up doing is probably taking a few more pictures. I'm going to paint this, cover this back up, make it look nice. You know, and there you have it. Misfires, engine performance, lacking of power. You got it there. Just to let you know, I'm not a mechanic and I am no way responsible for damaging your car. You take this as, at your own risk but it is very helpful and trust me you will not have a problem it's very simple couple bolts uh... you might want to get three of those jet sprays the carbon choke and uh... smaller wire brush and that little small screwdriver and you should be fine alright this is kevlar productions i'm out